Hello everyone, welcome. This is Sun and Moon Energy. I go by the name of Sylvie here, and I'm going to get right into a reading. This reading is for Gemini. This reading is for the energy surrounding Gemini. Uh, already have done a pre-shuffle, and just kind of general energy, general energy for Gemini. What's the general energy surrounding Three of Cups? Interesting. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Uh, okay, okay. Messages for Gemini. This is a general message for Gemini. Why the Three of Cups? Why the Three of Cups spirit? Thank you. Beautiful death card. Okay, so obviously there's an ending here with something, uh, some sort of uh, relationship, partnership, um, some sort of um, something that you thought. Um, I'm just really getting now. We're going from three to four here. Um, I'm just getting other, like, multiple people involved. Perhaps this is, like, a work, this is related to work here, Gemini. Um, I, I just feel like um, the energy, you're blocking something here. Tower card at the bottom of the deck. moon card at the bottom, I'm um, at the bottom, flipped out. While I was meditating on this energy, what did I say? You're blocking something. I feel like something, or something is blocked from you, Gemini. Heavy Cancer energy here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio with all this cup energy here, water energy. Um, with the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Death card, and the Moon card. A uh, really intense, uh, intense energy here. And then we have a little bit of Earth energy here with the, uh, the Six of Pentacles. <coughs> and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like, um, oops, sorry, my, kind of my voice is a little, is a little rough. <clears throat> Can you tell me more about this moon card? I feel, yeah, something's blocked, something's hidden, something, I don't know, I'm definitely hearing like, there was some type of, um, I don't know, I'm hearing game playing, page of wands. So maybe somebody was uh, blocking some type of message, some type of offer. Um, with, I'm just getting multiple people involved. Uh, too many hands in the pot, I don't know if I already said that. Yeah, what did I just say? Five of Wands, and then the Seven of Swords came out. What did I just say? Thank you, Spirit. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like maybe some, yeah, something is, somebody maybe is blocking, or you're having to, there's definitely, I'm getting heavy blocked ener blocking energy here, or maybe you are, can you tell me more about this blocked energy that I feel is this, you're weighing a decision, I guess, some sort of decision here. Or maybe this is a promotion, this is tied to some type of promotion. Um, so we have uh, with the Seven of Swords here, that's air energy, uh, that's your energy, Gemini. Uh, the Five of Wands, we have some fire energy here. This is like struggle, conflict, this could be just, um, uh, you know, either you just like in your head, but I'm really getting that um, more like somebody, there's like some... With this two of pentacles here, and this is more earth energy, and it's just interesting how this kind of fell out under the six of pentacles, I do feel like this is tied to now some type of um, offer, opportunity, promotion, it, it tied to um, your career and finances, uh, business matter, and um, you might be um, having to... Um, I, I'm, I'm hearing compete for... Um, you're competing here, basically for some type of position or offer opportunity and can I get a card for the three of cups because I just feel like this is almost how like this is just yeah thank you spirit yeah exactly the ten of pentacles yeah with this under this three of cups I just feel like there was some sort of um
some type of third party here trying to interfere with your bliss, I'm hearing. Um, so whatever that means to you, or whatever this opportunity is here with the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the King of Cups, which is interesting because now I'm thinking of it, this, I also pre-shuffled this deck, blah, Gemini, and the Seven of Wands um, was at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, interesting, with the Ten of Wands. So yeah, I'm definitely getting this, I'm just getting like a heavy battle energy here. Needing to walk away from something, needing to have finalization on something with the death card here, needing to like move forward. Um, again, with this four of cups, it's like, I, I'm really getting with this five of wands falling under that four of cups, you're just trying to ignore um, maybe the pettiness I'm hearing, the competition, whatever. Yeah, five of, yeah, exactly, the five of swords with the nine of pentacles, exactly. You are like, you are like, the, this is like, you know... You're very grounded, you're very balanced, um, this is stability, this is, um, you don't want to be in that Five of Swords energy, you're like cutting out that, the bullshit, basically, like, yeah, with the Ten of Swords here, the backstabbers, um, whatever's just like got you down and out, I'm hearing with this, world card, and the Four of Pentacles here, I feel like, yeah, things are going to be turning in your favor, here with that world card. I mean, we do have some, you know, like, nine, ten pentacles here, six, nine, ten. I mean, there's an upgrade here that's happening, but I feel like somebody's trying to block you from having that upgrade. Can you tell me about this third-party energy that I'm feeling that's blocking this upgrade? Thank you, Spirit, for Gemini. Thank you. Wow, the world card just flew out. Well, whatever it is, that's just telling me, I just heard it's the end of a cycle. It's the end of that. You, you're not going to have to worry about it. Um, with the moon card here, I feel like you just, like, yeah, it's, um, maybe you don't see this new opportunity coming in here with this page of wands, this action after um, having this, like, I'm almost hearing, like, stalemate. Um, maybe you even have to leave a company. Maybe you have to walk away. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe you're... Um, I'm hearing like, uh, uh, what is that when it's like um, different countries and there's the time difference here with the moon card. But look, interesting, look at this these moons here. It's like this one's dark and this one's light. So I really feel like whatever this is, you're transitioning into some sort of better opportunity. Something that is um, not going to be holding you back, I hear Gemini. Um... Ooh. You know, I, I feel like the earth energy here, like again, it's like, what did I say about this struggle, this competition? I feel like this earth energy is like competing with this, this water energy. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. I feel like, yeah, like you're really, you're hanging on, especially with that seven of wands that we started off with at the bottom of this deck. This is like, you're, you're fending off the haters here. You're like hanging on, um, you're moving towards your, um, you know, your, um, 10 of pentacles, your completion, you know, uh, whatever this, um, decision or opportunity is, I feel like you're going to get there. Um, no matter what, somebody's really trying hard, but I feel like they're not really going to be able to, um, they're not really going to be able to, f I'm hearing fight it, fight you off. I hate to say that, but, and I'm sorry, Gemini, if you're going through some sort of, um, wow, I didn't realize that the five of cups had flipped out at some point. Yeah, this is, there's definitely disappointment here. There's a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of like, look, four, five of cups, three, four, five of cups. I'm really getting this, this, this transition, um, this, this, moving through some sort of like the moon through these phases um through these cycles um of um you know being disappointed by um other people uh by you know having to really like d double fives here it's like the struggle um it's a lot of challenges it's a lot of um feeling uh like you have to watch your back here with that seven of swords people you know seven we have a lot of sevens here this to me is like this is like things you know you're working towards um your um your highest good you know and your ambitions your goals and um other people are really trying to like knock you down i'm hearing maybe even like 
um, throw you off guard, you know, make you feel like you're not worthy. It's again, you know, um, there could be a little bit of that imposter syndrome happening where maybe you just don't, you feel like an outsider here, like there's these three people here and you're like, you're kind of like, I'm sorry, um, you're kind of like watching from like the sidelines I'm hearing, um, but you know that like what your worth is and, um, yeah, I'm really, and you know, this is a very creative energy here with this earth energy. And again, what did I say? You know, the four pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the page of pentacles and the empress card. Beautiful. Exactly. And another page of pentacles. It's like opportunity upon oppor back to back, I'm hearing. And like you are, what did I say? It's like that nine of pentacles, ten pentacles. It's like that is like go the empress card. It's like you're, you're right, you're there. And with that empress card coming out, again, it's that level up. It's that transition. You're moving ahead you're moving forward you're doing that um you know that uh 365 degrees you're making a full rotation here a full level up a full upgrade i'm hearing um yeah this is really beautiful energy um my hands kind of hurt but i'm gonna um i have like arthritis in my hands so the bigger deck even though i love this deck it is getting harder for me to like handle it and shuffle it so, um, if anybody feels generous and wants to, like, um, you know, I have my, um, cash app listed in, um, the description, and I would love to get some, another deck that's a little bit smaller, uh, so that way, yeah, um, I can shuffle more easily. So, yeah, even if it's, you throw a dollar, you know, like, I'm appreciative, I'm grateful for everything, you know, I find a quarter on the street, I'm like, cool, man, money, you know, and I think that's like, you know, when I say about, you know, having to, like, be grateful for things, it's like that kind of thing, it's like, oh, I found a quarter, cool, awesome, maybe next time I'll find a dollar, you know, maybe next time I'll find twenty dollars, you know, like, and, you know, and you think like that, and you'd be really positive, it's like that's it, it there is a snowball effect to it but you know um i don't i feel like you are being really positive here gemini i do feel like you're working really hard i do feel like you're trying to do the right thing stay on the right track um moving forward and like being um you know being very powerful being very um i'm hearing very um What's that when you're like, oh God, I'm sorry, the word's just like, it, it's escaping me, but um, you're just being a good person, you know, it's like you're not, you know, you're not trying to like, you're not trying to fight with people here, you're really not, you're watching your back and you're really not trying to fight with people, you don't really want to like, you know, um, have to deal with the, this instability and these challenges, um, while you're trying to like move, you know, move ahead, you know, you're just trying to do your thing. You're just trying to get your coin. You're not really trying to step on any toes. You're not trying to really mess with anybody. And I think people like get a little jealous of that Gemini, um, when you're just doing your thing and you're leveling up and some people might not like that. Again, there could be a very specific, um, position involved here or goal or something, or especially with that two of, um, that two of uh, pentacles here, but this also can just be you, um, you know, blossoming, um, kind of coming into your element, realizing, you know, with this eight again here with the infinity symbol, uh, you know, we have double infinity symbols here. This has been coming through for you, Gemini, over and over and over again, that like nobody can hold you back. Nobody can keep you down. It's like a never, what did I say? It's just like this never ending, you know, um, evolvement level up you know uh, always working towards um being uh raising your vibration basically when you raise your vibration you're raising your coin you know that's how that happens you know um you can't get stuck in that in that five of cup energy and i don't think you did i think you really are like i'm not no i think this card here with that four of cups is just telling me you've turned your back on that with that death card um, and you're really moving forward and, and being a better person here. Not that you were a bad person before, but I feel like maybe people, I'm just getting the energy that people were trying to like drag you down, Gemini, and um, you just not here for it. You're not here for it. You know, maybe, yeah. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune here, yeah, things are things are turning. Look, we have like this double um, wheel here. It's like things are really turning in your favor. Um, this came out for you the other day. It's, 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 
upgrading like almost overnight not that you haven't worked hard for it but it is like that's how it's coming in it's coming in so fast it's like night and day like all of a sudden like as if you won the lottery and maybe you even are you know um i don't think there's anything wrong i go out and buy a scratch off once in a while you know i don't make a habit of it but you know there's a little bit of fun in it and it keeps you like you know on that thinking positive about money and like if you don't you know win a dollar it's okay you know it's just it's fun you know um but one day you may win ten dollars one day you may win a hundred dollars one day you could win ten million dollars you know and just keep positive about it um and i think you have here and i think woo thank you spirit wow with that five of wands coming out like that down here, I'm hearing in the background. I'm hearing in the background, and what did I say? I think you just have haters, Gemini. And the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck, and look, the sun is trying to peek out here, and I think that's just saying, like, yeah, you are just moving ahead. You're on fire. Yeah, look at this. With the ace of swords, this is clarity. Another page of pentacles coming out now in this deck. This is telling me with that four pentacles that like, yeah, you're, you are not going to focus on these people who are trying to, trying to hold you back. Thank you, spirit. That's just clarifying. Thank you, spirit, that, that I am correct on, um, the energy that I'm reading here. Um, so, um, and the next, so what's like a final outcome with this, the surrounding energy of Gemini here? I really feel like this is related to their... Um, career and finances, some type of level up. Um, woo! Oh, that just flew out. Wow, that was the Knight of Swords. Wow, with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Oh, I have to actually, that's out of my reach. Wow, Gemini, that's beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. Yeah, this is spirit confirming that this is coming in fast now. And what did I say about it being overnight? What did I say? And look at you. You're like, you're cutting out. What did I say about cutting out the bullshit? You know, like nobody's going to stop you now. Look, with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, now with that Seven of Wands behind it and the Moon card with the Queen of Pentacles, you're ready to fight anyone and anyone. And I don't mean physically fight, you know, even though we do have that card here. Um, this could also even just be a little bit of your energy because we have all the sword energy here, Gemini. This could also just be you getting out of your head, getting out of that, impo feeling like there's that imposter syndrome and you're bringing your own energy in. You're finally having that mental clarity because remember that Asa swords peaked out of like saying, nope, you know what? I am good enough. I am, you know, I do have these talents, these gifts, these, you know, um, <clears throat> these skills, um, I can be, you know, this, this really good person, maybe like, you know, you're, um, maybe you're, um, a, a dad here, or maybe you're like, I'm hearing just somebody in your like village or town that people look up to, that people depend on, people feel safe with, um, you're very grounded here with, um, these animals around you, you know, you feel very, um, welcomed, you're very, very at home, this is almost look like Santa Claus, I mean, you know, I don't really like, or it's like Merlin, like Magic magician here I'm getting it's very like um comforting homey um close to home I'm just hearing and um you've worked really hard for that you've really had to um overcome I'm hearing a lot of obstacles to get to this like look at with the moon card again double moon card it's like this watery and like this not knowing it's like traveling through the the unknown wilderness the forest you know knowing that on the other side there is this um this big opportunity um i'm just really hearing like I like so specifically more about this opportunity more about this opportunity that this knight of swords is ushering in this opportunity, thank you for Gemini. Wow, Gemini. That's really interesting. That's the Tower and the Nine of Swords. I don't know, you're like something that's really going to have you like feeling like. Wow, for. Can you tell me more about this energy? This is a really like intense, tense energy. Chariot card just flew out. I'm getting a lot of travel energy here, Gemini, and I don't think, 
Uh, this is really intense with the Tower card and the Nine of Swords coming out, but I think the way it came out under that Wheel of Fortune now is just how it came out. And what did I say? I was asking about this opportunity because I do feel like this this here with the Wheel and the uh, Wheel of Fortune and the World card, <clears throat> it is some type of opportunity. And... I feel like whatever it is, this opportunity that's coming in, yeah, it's going to shake things up. What did I say? It's going to be like overnight. It's like night and day. It's like one night you're like feeling like your world is falling apart. Maybe you've lost your job. Maybe you've had to like suddenly move. Maybe you lost, you know, you lost a family member. Maybe your business is like, I don't know, whatever is not like whatever it may be. With the chariot card here, I do feel like you are going to find balance. You are going to, like, I'm hearing bring it home. You are going to, like, be, um, the universe is protecting you here. This is the universe protecting and guiding you, Gemini. I don't think, um, whatever this is, you're, I don't think you're going to be in that Nine of Swords energy long, long because we do have the two of, um, Wow, Gemini! We have the two of wands, the four of wands, and the three of wands. What? Gemini! Oh my gosh, I can't even, yeah. With the two of cups, and the six of swords, and now the knight of cups. So, you have one, two, three, four of wands. This is action, this is fire energy, this is coming home. This is, um, I'm hearing like... This is... What did I say about traveling before? I'm hearing like you're going to have multiple homes in, in different countries here is what I'm hearing. You're going to be traveling, celebrating. You have the world in your hands here. You can go anywhere as you want. That's what I'm hearing. You can, and you're also protected. The universe is protecting you here. What did I just say? The universe is protecting you, and you can go anywhere as you want. And this is like, with this, this isn't waiting for your ships to come in. This is you looking out over your riches, your golden river here. Because whatever your goods are, again, something about going overseas, traveling, whatever you're producing here, whatever this, this creative, opera, it's, 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 it's opportunity. It's coming in. It's coming in fast. It's coming in hot and heavy. Um, it could be, um, there's definitely, um, there could be a partnership here. This could just be you. There is a little partnership energy here, Gemini. Um, this is really, I'm really liking this energy. Do not be afraid of this. I feel like this is saying embrace that change, you know, here, you know, it's like, this is new beginnings, you know, this is moving forward, definitely with that cherry card. And it's going to happen quickly. Like I know maybe this is like, you've been struggling for a long time. You've really been like trying to like, I know a lot of people in the comments, you know, are like, I've been struggling for years and years and years. Trust me. Yeah, I I totally get it. I totally get it. I'm not I'm not a young thing, and I um I grew up in in struggle. Um, from a from a young child, you know, from a, basically a baby, honestly, and like not to be like, oh, woe is me, poor me. And I think that's the thing. It's like, you know, I know there's people that have struggled way, way, way more than me, and I keep it in perspective now. I keep it balanced. I got out of that victim mode. I watched um, people, I listened to some sub subliminals, I med I started meditating, I tried to take other people's advice that like, well this worked for them, maybe it'll work for me, and I know you can get really in your head and think like, there's never going to be that light at the end of the tunnel, like you just don't think there it, there is one, you know, and like, if you think that and you focus on that, then that's what you're going to get, and um, you stay in that scarcity mindset, and um, you know, I think you're getting out of that, you know, here, this energy is showing me that um, there's so much action, there's so much opportunity, the, the, there could even be marriage here, for sure, with this ace, this came in for you before, this is my erection card, I'm gonna say it, I don't care, this is also just you, like, I think, um, glowing, I'm hearing, you know, because what did I say about level up, it's like you're glow, it's a glow up, you know, and like, your opportunities are really global, all over the world, it's like your seeds have been, um, sown I'm hearing and that could also be you know there could be children involved too but I'm getting more of a business opportunity here I'm not really getting um 
I'm not getting fertility and really with this card here I'm not even getting marriage so much I'm getting just more about you know stability joyous times I'm feeling really like grounded and not having to worry about things and finally having some peace and uh, knowing that your hard work has paid off and that you're moving forward and um, you know again it's like you stood your ground and I think you put up boundaries with people and I think it worked you know and I think this is you celebrating that it's like you, what did I say nobody can mess with you you like you cut out the bullshit nobody can mess with you I think sometimes people like you know take Gemini's for like being a little wishy-washy being a little too flighty being a little too this a little too that whatever they want to say you know I know a lot of people have had some words for me in the comments it's like yeah I have some speech issues yeah I have some anxiety issues issues yeah I'm you know I'm working on stuff I think I've gotten a lot better um <clears throat> you know at uh trying to communicate what I'm feeling sometimes it's really difficult for me and uh I have like a lot of um things too happening in my life and you know sometimes I don't want to bring the energy in but my energy is a little frazzled or sometimes just the energy that's coming in is frazzled I mean think about it like there's like millions of people out there I don't know what the energy really sometimes that I'm picking up you know so um that being said I'm just doing my best I'm trying to be here for y'all you know um but you know try to be kind if you're for the most part most y'all have been caught really kind um you know because you don't have to be here you know like if you don't really like how I do things then you know peace out so that being said thank you everybody who has been so kind and who you know has felt some sort of um hope and inspiration here i really appreciate y'all <clears throat> so 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 much because honestly this channel would not be growing without y'all i do think with all this wand energy that's now showing up at the bottom of the deck i do feel like this is just ushering in like saying that like what i said about you know having this earth energy trying to fight this this cup energy you know it's like you're trying to be more grounded not trying not to be so emotional you know not trying to be so overwhelmed by things people places and things right and really standing in your ground and i feel like these ones and it's like you are taking action on that you are you know um, focusing on um, your creative passions and really making things happen and moving forward and so that's a lot of like Leo Agis, um, Aries Sagittarius energy I do tend to pick up on a lot of fire energy because I, I am um, a Leo rising uh, but you know again it's like I don't really you know I don't know if, how much signs really matter at the end of the day it's more just about the surrounding energy but then again, I'm like, well, I do watch stuff about like astrology and like the positions of the planets and how that influences energy. So I do feel like signs sometimes do, you know, um, matter and like where your placements are in your charts and stuff like that. Um, but I don't really have like a full on like uh, huge knowledge with that. I'll be honest. So I'm still learning myself. Um, that being said, uh, I think we do have um, a balanced energy here overall, and I think that's what I said before. I think you are really coming into your element. Things are really balanced. Look, we have a four of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck and a four of wands. <clears throat> so I think, like, yeah, you are really coming full circle and really standing in your element and really, um, you know... I'm just like carrying it. It's like ushering in a new, this is ushering in a new time for you is what I'm hearing. Um, I would like to just close with one more card because I don't really want to end with that nine of swords. I know that, the, or the chariot. Um, yeah, justice card. Exactly. Thank you, spirit. I appreciate you so much. <clears throat> with the hermit at the bottom of the deck. With the Two of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups, all this is in the Five of Pentacles. This is just telling me that, like, yeah, whatever, op, you know, it's like you've done the work. You've come, like, with this Hermit card here, I really feel like you've gained that wisdom and knowledge. What did I say, you know? It's like this, this level up, this transition that's really built up over time. But now this, like, this final step, this final, like, transitional phase um, now is, like, coming in really fast. 
it's like now it's like you've reached that you've reached the summit gemini you've reached the top of the mountain you know you've had that major tower moment and you've had that death card you know and justice is now coming in and you know now everything what did i say about things being balanced right remember the ace of swords came out what about you know um clarity um there it is you know this is your energy gemini this is you know it's it's libra but it's it's air energy all right, sorry because I was just at this point rambling. Um, the camera had cut off, so I only really missed like less than 30 seconds. Um, I'm also also losing my voice, so I'm gonna make some tea. Um, I do want to come back and do another reading, but um, I was just finishing up that basically this was just clarifying with this um, this water energy here and this air energy. It's like you've gotten your emotions into balance. You've gotten. Um, you know, just everything into balance, everything is working out in your favor, and you've really come full circle here, and whatever, you know, maybe that it's, maybe it's a business decision, uh, an opportunity, whatever, if you're waiting for some type of um, decision to come in your favor here, you know, we have, um, you know, we have the number 11 here, and it's um, duplicated here, so we have 1111, I think that's really awesome, that's saying to me, you know, that it's like, you're again, it's about divine protection, um, things happening um, when they're meant to happen, you know, think universe is going to bring in um, justice for you when it's meant to happen, and I think it is coming in um, very quickly, it's seems here so with that knight of swords and that chariot card um yeah so um i'm gonna leave it there thank you all so 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 much for watching <clears throat> appreciate y'all so much um yeah if you haven't subscribed already please 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 subscribe thank you have a great day bye